Okay, today we're going to talk about multi-step equations. There, uh, we've already done one-step and two-step equations, but now we want to go ahead and do multi-step equations. There are, uh, other than the two-step piece of it, there are only three steps. Some people teach it to be six steps because then they add in the two-step equation or they do it a certain way. Um, I want to teach it to you that there's three steps plus the two-step equation or one-step equation. So first of all, you have uh, one, the first step is clear the equation of fractions and decimals, and you usually do that by multiplying. And we may do a little bit of that today, but I want to really get into the distributing and combining like terms piece, and then we may do the clearing fractions uh, during class. Number two is distribute if necessary. Number three is combine like terms. Once you have done all those three steps properly, it should be automatic that you will see a one or two step equation, in which case then you can simply just solve. Okay, let's look at example one. You have 60 minus 19 plus 2K equals 51. Not as simple as a two-step equation. First of all, let's go through our steps. And recall from the previous uh, page um, that first step is clear the equation of fractions and decimals. I don't see a fraction. I don't see a decimal. That step is done. Second step is distribute, if necessary. There are no parentheses here. That's what tells you that you need to distribute. So what I need to then do is go to my third step, which is combine like terms. And as you see from the 60 and the negative 19, on the same side of the equation, that those are like terms that I can simply group together or combine to give me 41, and then I leave the rest there. And as you can see, I then have a two-step equation. So again, how you do two-step equation is do the addition subtraction step first by doing the opposite of what's there, opposite operation. I then have 2k equals 51 minus 41 will then give me 10. I then do the opposite operation of multiplying, which is dividing by 2, and I end up with k is equal to 5. You just solved a multi-step equation. Okay, example two, go through your steps, clear the equation of fractions and decimals, I don't see any. Second of all, distribute if necessary, and it is necessary because I see parentheses and a number out front. So re again, remember that you need to distribute the two to the y and the two to the two. So two times y will give you two y, and two times two will give you four. And then e equals 10. I then go to my next step, which is combine like terms on each side, and I see no like terms that need to be combined before I can do anything else. So I simply have a two-step equation. And again, do your addition subtraction step first. Do the opposite operation. And you get 2y equals 6. I then divide by 2 because it's the opposite operation to give me y equals 3. And you're done. Okay, let's do another one. Uh, go through your steps. Number one, clear the equation of fractions and decimals. And again, we'll probably do this more in class. Um, second of all, um, you need to distribute if necessary. And I see no parentheses. Third of all, I need to combine like terms. So as I look, I see negative 6y and 4y on the same side of an equation. That gives me negative 2y. Be careful. Think about it. Use your calculator. Plus 14 equals 32. I then have a two-step equation. So I need to subtract 14 because I do the addition subtraction step first. And then I have negative 2y equals 32 minus 14 will then give me 18. Double check me. I then divide by negative 2 because it's the opposite operation. And I get y is equal to negative 9. OK, for this example, what I want you to do is I want you in a second to pause the screen and I want you to look at the steps that I've done and I want you to tell me where is the error and why and then I want you to notice what the uh, what the difference between the final answer and uh, if I would do it this way and if I would do it the correct way so right now I want you to pause it and think about it okay the issue where they made the mistake is right here when they tried to do that first the adding or subtraction step first instead of distributing like you should where you see the parentheses uh, that's where they went wrong so well, that's where I went wrong so if I rewrite it 3x minus 5 equals 27 what I need to do is remember my steps and stop you know and I just need for myself need to stop jumping jumping ahead so number one clear the equation of fractions and decimals I don't see it distribute if necessary it is necessary let's see why 3 times x, 3x, 3 times negative 5, negative 15, equals 27. 
Now you can go about doing your two-step equation, which again should be automatic, which is 3x equals 27 plus 15 will then give me 42. And then if I divide 3 into 42, I get 14.